I had a suggestion for a build emailed to me by Toxix, and it was great. It's some great one spam. You got some summons on the back end to get some stuff going. We're going to try a few different variations of this build, see what works, see what doesn't, get the general take on it. Thanks for the suggestion, Toxix. Hope you enjoy. How many ducks? How does one find this many ducks? Another reason why Ant is so good. They always run, they front run pigs very frequently. So having an Ant in the front is just a double whammy for the pig teams. Lemur's pretty good. Garlic press, let's uh... Throw you in the mix. I think we run it like this. So this actually works out pretty well. Since we don't have anything to restore the health, we can keep the duck around. When we find another peacock, we'll sell the duck, and it's like he never lost any health. Oh, well now that we have something to restore health. We still get to do it, hell yeah. And then we'll throw in a flamingo. Maybe a hedgehog. Maybe throw a hedgehog in there. Two hedgehogs? We get a little double up action going here. Beautiful. B E A U T I F U L. Alright. Now, here's how we gotta run this. We need you. Maybe we don't do the double hedgehog thing yet. We want camel instead of peacock. Maybe camel in conjunction with peacock since we have hedgehog. Try this. The, the koala might go. I'm not sure yet. EBD. Looking good. Looking fantastic. Still at five hearts, by the way. That's awesome. Love to see that. I'm thinking one one per turn doesn't really doesn't really cut the cake, so to speak. Give you some garlic. Cool. Might be a little dangerous. Okay, we're good. No, we're not. <laughs> we're almost good. The hedgehogs, if they cleared out the back line, we would have been good. Ooh, double level up? What do we got? Armadillo seems great. Bad dog, honestly, is probably good too. Okay, let's try it. Oh, cool. Who's this guy running no hurt triggers? Insanity. How do you run this weekly without any hurt triggers? Okay. I think it's about time we ditch the leech. We go evil book. Armadillo. Eventually, we won't need Armadillo anymore, but until then, we're gonna need some evil book action. Or we need some Armadillo action to help with the evil book. Wow, 
Well, that's not good. You got a Triceratops. How does that happen? We're good? Okay, we're good. I feel like we got very lucky not losing that one. That feels like one of those really lucky angles. <laughs> I think we gotta go Orca here. As much as I would love to go the other guy. They've got the big dog coming out, but that's really all they got. Okay. <laughs> I guess I'll take the draw. That's fitting. We're both running evil book teams. some porridge just in case we end up running an evil book at some point or an actual great one like in any of these right now this could be a problem This most definitely will be a problem. Almost not, but yeah, the peanuts are kind of cooked. There's the great one. I say we try it, you know? YOLO it a little bit. We could Salmon of Knowledge on him too. That might be a little too much. see what's the cornucopia got for us on peto I think we want on peto we can get a triceratops with a tiger behind and then give you a mushroom maybe that's got something We're just taking way too much damage. <laughs> way too much. Okay. You gotta go. Gonna seem a little insane, but bear with me for a second. Okay, this is fine. Maybe. Maybe fine. Tell you what. We just go full summons. You know? What if that's the way to do it? <laughs> We're experimenting a little bit. <laughs> sometimes you get it to work and sometimes you don't. You gotta test stuff out a little bit.
I don't want to say it, but I will. I'm kind of a pig hater. I feel like the pigs just aren't really cutting it this week. I don't know what it is. Something about it just doesn't feel like it's pulling its weight, you know? Just not quite getting there. Too easy to counter with a with an ant. I will say, if you get a pig in front of the basilisk, it's not the worst thing ever, but there's better. Okay. Give me a little witch's broom action. Give me a little... 3-4 Koala. Even a Chupacabra. Ooh, level me. Level me times two. Maybe we can get a leech with our Koala. This dude already got a camel. And we're good. What do we got? Level you. Level you. Imagine if we got a camel off of this one. Oh, <laughs> baby. That would have been incredible. Alright, we go here. We ditch you. We go here. I think. Maybe a pug. 5 4 stat line is pretty solid. What if we do this? Just say screw the basilisk. Because nobody needs them. take the draw. We will take it. Staying at five hearts is what's important. There's the camel. That's huge. There to you. I'm wondering if we should try guinea fowl. Guinea fowl actually seems really strong. I think it's worth investing in potentially. At least testing out a little bit. If nothing else. Okay, so we're looking for garlics now, of course. Garlic is the way to do it. Dude, wouldn't it be nice if Camel gave plus two, plus one? And then you pair it with the leech and it's just perfect. Wouldn't that be some? The guinea fowl almost got us there. It kinda, a little bit. Hey, okay, pill you. Let's go, let's go a hedgehog here. Get a level two guinea pal almost. That would be huge. Of course it hits you, what the heck. <laughs> We're good. We get a draw. That's fine. Guinea fowl is kind of strong, actually. High key. Now I need garlic on you. This is huge. That's going to be instantly 4-4, four, four, at least 6-6 six, six dog coming out here, once we get you to level 2. That's pretty huge. Wouldn't it be nice if you could stack up trumpets in shop too? <laughs> That'd be absolutely insane. They're all running these witch brooms out here, what the heck? I didn't know it was so popular. I feel like I hadn't seen it until just like... All of a sudden, everyone's running it. Hmm, we could run Eagle. We definitely could run Eagle. We'd have to ditch this combo here. Which, maybe that's fine. Maybe we ditch the Leech, you know? We'll eventually get rid of the Camel. Because the Camel's just kind of there. He's not level 2 or nothing. But it, I think we go garlic on you. That's important. 
And then we just kind of do it like this. Probably want Camel in front of the Guinea Fowl now, now that we don't have Leech. That would probably be the smart way to play it. Alright. I wouldn't mind getting you leveled. That's exactly what I was hoping for, thank you. Okay. This feels like it's gonna be pretty good. This feels solid. He's got a great one cooking out here. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> Um, I think we're okay. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Great one was a little scary there for a second. Roll me. I don't think we're going cracking here. Maybe though. These guys aren't very high at health. I don't think so. Come on. There he is. Love to see it. We could run a great one. Great one mushroom. It's a little dicey though, you know? It's a little scary to do that. Great one whale too, also works. Not quite. He has more stats. Stats are king. Okay, tell you what. Let's do... Do this. This is like super shady. <laughs> and I don't know how I feel about it. But we're gonna try it. Get you some extra health here. Alright, how do we do against this guy? We draw? Okay. That's fair. Totally fair. running a salmon of knowledge out here. Hmm. It would be extraordinarily nuclear if we do that. You would die. Everybody would die. <laughs> but we'd have a giant great one at the end, so maybe that's good enough. Get rid of the triceratops here. Let's do this here for a second. So... Look for a mushroom. Thank you. Even more nuclear. Who do we want to level? Probably you. Unless we level the great one, go extra nuclear. In which case it would probably be better to level the whale. Because he would summon a bigger great one at the end. Yeah, probably. You just have more stats at the end. More stats, more damage. <laughs> this is actually kinda working. A little bit. We'll take it. I don't know about this one, but we'll take it. Alright, someone's gotta get some PETA. Probably not you though, right? Maybe no one needs PETA. Maybe we look for levels. Mushroom? Mushroom on the eagle would actually be kind of cool, huh? Give you a little extra summon support. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe we'll go Salmon of Knowledge level 2 here. The level 3 homies cooking. That just seems a little nuclear though. 
More so than normal, even. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on anymore. I genuinely have no clue. But I'm enjoying it. It's been fun. Alright, we need level 2 Salmon of Knowledge and then we're good. You could throw in more guinea fowl too. <laughs> I also considered doing a Wolverine next to the Great One, but I, I don't think it, the payoff would be that good, because he would just die instantly. Just keep giving you more health. We don't. You're not attacking, let's be honest with ourselves here. You are never going to attack. Not quite. Oh, almost. We got a little peanut homie in the back. Okay, roll me. We need chocolate on you. Or maybe we'll just get the great one and ditch the salmon of knowledge. Also a possibility, just go more summons. Man, we're not finding a whole lot here. Okay, so you're summoning two. We can actually give you lemon. Would be better. Okay. I don't know how this is working. It feels like we're losing every time, and then we just kind of we pull it around. I guess. <laughs> Alright, um, so we'll, we'll try one turn here. We got the hearts to ch test it out. Uh, we might just go walrus, but we'll see. Or tiger. <laughs> Tiger's gonna die though, so that's not gonna work. Um, keep walrus around. He might be our backup for when everything dies. We'll get some peanuts and we can kill something. Level 2 eagle would be kind of cool too. Um, I don't think it's going to be a level 3 great one angle. They're really pushing for it though, I'll tell you that much. Um, no, I think we need to look for eagle levels. That's more important. This is insane. Absolutely insane. Might have been a little too much. I don't know. We're so late in the game. They're all going to be huge now, right? I don't know. Is that even worth it? Maybe not. Let's let's try the walrus thing. We can go walrus mushroom. You'd have to imagine the double great one at level 2. Surely that's enough to do some damage to him, right? You would think. I don't know, these guys are ginormous. That's why we got the peanuts, I guess. <laughs> the peanuts are helping out there. There we go, we got the eagle. I guess we don't actually need Drink me liquid on you anymore. Maybe we look for more walrus? I don't know, whatever happens here, <laughs> it's been a fun build. You can't say it hasn't. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna beat these guys. They have like three 50-50s, and then a bunch of mushroom phoenixes. It's an interesting build, I'll give you that. I don't know. I don't think it pans out like ultra late game, typically. Maybe there's something I'm missing here, but I feel like we got a lot of redundancy. We got peanuts, we got a dog cooking up here. We got a bunch of summons of level 6s. 
tier sixes. I get those mixed up all the time. Either way, it's a fun build. Thank you for the suggestion. It's very good. If you made it this far, odds are you're enjoying the content. And I've got great news for you. There's plenty more where that came from. Check out these videos here that YouTube thinks that you might enjoy. And I will see you all in the next episode. Have a good one.